Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be going over the left join. Um, so it's one of the more popular joins that are used in SQL. Um, it's also written out as a left outer join because that's what it is. Um, there's no such thing as a left inner join. So, um, But for all intents and purposes we're going to go with left join. Um, so really it's a join that you use in SQL um, when you're joining two or more tables. So to kind of demonstrate how this join would work, we have a Venn diagram here. So let's say the circle on the left hand side represents table A, and then the circle on the right hand side represents table B. In the event that we're interested in seeing all the records from table A, and then stitch that to records from table B, and only include records from table B that are able to link to table A, that's when we would use a left join. So anything in table B that's not able to link to table A would be excluded from this join. And we'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. So I have an environment set up right here um, just to demonstrate what we went over, right? So I have a table called customer and you could see, so we have all the customers lined up. Let's say, you know, this is part of our business. This is a list of all of our customers. Um, and then we have a column to associate you know the respective sales reps that are assigned to each one of these customers so we have um, we have their IDs which we're going to use to link to those sales reps in table B the sales rep table uh, similarly for our business we have a list of all of our sales reps uh, obviously all of their IDs that's the primary key um, and then you know their base salary or whatever that's that's not important for this demonstration obviously but just to kind of demonstrate um, let's say for our particular use case we wanted to know um, or we wanted to have a list of all of our customers um, regardless of whether or not they have an assigned sales rep um, and we want to see uh, the name of the sales rep assigned to each one of those customers but we don't want to see any sales rep that isn't assigned to a customer for example so obviously in a situation like that you would use a left join so uh, let's go ahead and demonstrate that so I'd start out uh, with my select statement obviously in a perfect world we wouldn't want to do a select star from but because this is a small table you know it's not a big issue so we're gonna perform uh, select all from customer that would be our now the table on the left hand side uh, we want to left join that to the sales rep table and I'm actually going to give these a aliases so the customers table is going to be called C the sales reps table is going to be called S um, and then we're going to join these tables obviously on the sales rep ID because that's how you would link the customer um, to the sales rep at this point that's the cus sales rep ID equals S dot sales rep ID this should give me a list of all the customers um, that exists within that customer table but it should only give me the sales reps that are associated with a customer so as you could see here um, you know I had seven customers in my customer table I'm able to see all of those um, you'll notice again if I query the sales rep table there were a total of four sales reps um, Eric Bowyer you know sales rep ID number four that does not show up in my data set and that's because he's not linked to any customer and that's a perfect example of the kind of output you would expect to see in a left join so I hope you guys found this helpful please give the video a like if you found it to be of value to you and I hope to see you on the next video thank you